Right now, I am standing outside of my movie room slash filming room uh, for YouTube, where all my movies are. That's that's what I'm standing outside of right now. I am about to embark on a journey of reorganization for my collection. It's a mess in there, guys. It is a huge mess, but I'm going to show you all the mess. I didn't prep anything. I didn't clean anything. Just how it was. That's how I want it to look. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go on, we're gonna go on a journey together, guys. I'm gonna reorganize a lot of stuff. This is gonna be a lengthy video that probably spans over um, I don't know two, three, maybe a month's time. I don't know how long this is going to take me to do. I have a lot of ideas in my head, but look, let's let, let's not waste any more time. Let's get inside the room and see what we're working with here. All right, so we're opening the door, and here you go, guys. This is the this is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. So I am down in my basement. A few years ago, um, I did get my basement finished, and I, I made myself a little room in here. And, uh, you know, it was specifically for my collection and, you know, some other stuff. And I, I initially made this for, like, just a movie watching room, but I already took the TV out. I do want to put another TV in here, but let's let's go look at the collection real quick. It's just I, I have I did a reorganization last year around this time, but I have accumulated so much more in that year's time. Uh, so I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of work to do. This movie is a mess. Look over here on the floor. There are movies everywhere. Movies everywhere, all over the floor. These are all like the past two or three months pickups. I got a, a shelf over there that I've had for like a good two or three months that I need to build uh, for all these movies. And yeah, let's uh, look. Let's rotate this around. Let me look at this. People always ask me, "Are you afraid of running out of space?" Can no, because I still got uh, three walls. I still got three walls here that I can put shelves up on. Do I want shelves on every wall? I don't know. And you guys can see over here. This is my <laughs> this is my shirt rack uh, that I have because uh, I shoot multiple videos at once sometimes. And um, you know, sometimes I have to change my shirt because I don't I don't want it to look like. Um, I've been wearing the same shirt all week. So I put a shirt rack in here and I've got a bunch of shirts all over the floor. I've got a TV. I've got this beautiful box set down here. Uh, I got bags and, and all that stuff. I got a freaking trash can over here. Like how ghetto is this? A freaking <laughs> big ass kitchen trash can over here in the corner. Uh, this is my desk where I shoot everything. I'm actually watching. Look, shout out to, to Born to be Rad and uh, the dude who loves movies. I'm actually watching their stream right now. Um, as I'm filming this, they're on mute though. Uh, so there you go. Oh my goodness, I zoomed in way too far. But real quick, let's go over here to the closet. So like I said, I finished the basement. This is the only area of the basement that did not get finished. Um, in this little closet area right here. And this is where all my junk is. I've got all kinds of junk. I got boxes back there with all kinds of stuff that I've accumulated over my many years um, you know, living on my own ever since I moved out of my parents' house back when I was like 18 or 19, I, I've accumulated all this junk and I just take it all with me. I, I'm not a hoarder per se, but I do keep a lot of things from my childhood. There's a lot of like toys back there, um, and boxes. And I got, uh, you know, my old, uh, you know, uh, CRT TV right there. I got some video games over here. I got, uh, you know, some good sets of boxes, and I got VHS tapes in there. I got VHS tapes on the ground. I got all these shout posters, just boxes everywhere. It's a complete mess in here. I can't even move around. Um, I moved all these DVDs because they were actually out there in the collection. I moved all these. These are the wipes that I use to wipe off the DVDs when I put them in here. Uh, but I moved all these DVDs in here to get them out of the, you know, the main room, out of the main shelf uh, to make room for steel books and other movies that I had. So. Yeah, I, I don't know what I want to do with the DVDs. I would like to get a more like legit shelving unit in here to put my DVDs and also be able to put like my VHS tapes up as well. I do want to collect some more VHS tapes. I also got a bunch of books back there, like on a little book stand as well. It's just a complete mess. I am a mess, guys. I am not organized at all. I want to get that way, though. I do want to get that way. Let's get out of here. I'm sure all of you all have unsubscribed by now uh, since I, um, you know, showed you that closet. And now we'll go back over here to the movies. But let me just look at these cool posters. I got a couple cool posters. I got that Child's Play 2 and the Halloween Curse of Michael Myers that I'm sure you see in all my videos. And I got a bunch of crap over here on my couch, a bunch of stuff I picked in, up in stores today. And yeah, I got all my Blu-rays on this shelf. I've got boutiques over here. 
Um, I got boutiques on, on the ground right there. I got 4Ks up here. It's all pretty much the same as when I organized it last year. Steelbooks are close to the ground right there, where they should be. I think steelbooks should be close to the ground in case they fall or the shelf breaks or something. It's it's low impact for the steelbooks. But yeah, that's the, that's the state of my physical media collection. I, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is remove these two shelves, and then I'm going to try to move this shelf into that spot. But look, there's going to be a lot of changes uh, going on in this video, uh, for sure. I may be changing the entire setup for this entire room. I may, may be changing my filming location and everything. I don't know what's going to happen, but as soon as I have um, some updates for you guys, I'll, I'll film some more. And we'll just I'll, I'm just going to take you on this journey with me. I hope you enjoy it. So let's do it. One thing that I'm going to do, guys, first, and I forgot to mention this, but I have a ton of duplicates uh, for movies that I have either upgraded to 4K or bought special editions of. Um, so I am going to be taking those duplicates out and piling them up and, and probably selling them, whether that's to anybody on here that wants them or taking them to a local thrifting store, or I'm probably not going to do eBay. That's just too much of a... Too much of a hassle for me. Um, but yeah, as I go through these movies, I'll, I'll make a stack and I'll show it off to you guys. And if anybody wants anything, just, you know, you can message me on Instagram or something like that. And I'll, I'll take bids. I'll take bids. But it'll it'll be a nice stack. I've got several things that I, I'm looking to get rid of. Boutique, um, you know, movies that I've upgraded as well. So yeah, that's that's where I'm going to start with this whole thing. All right, so just a quick update. It might not look like I've done too much. I've still got Blu-rays and 4Ks and Steelbooks and crap all over the floor. But basically what I've done is I've gone through all of my Blu-rays, just my Blu-rays, and I've taken out all of the uh, duplicates and, and stuff that I'm no longer going to need. I'll go through that here in a second, but I had to make some really tough choices, guys. This was really hard. Uh, pulled all those out, and I, I moved up all the Blu-ray like overstock that I've had, just stuff that I've thrown there over the past year uh, that I haven't moved into the rest of the Blu-ray collection in alphabetical order because that's the, how I had it organized. Uh, so now all my Blu-rays are in alphabetical order again, uh, even all the ones that I've gotten over the past year. Uh, so I feel a lot better about that. I feel I feel good. So this is basically the Blu-ray shelf. Both of these shelves are for Blu-rays only, non-boutique or anything like that. No 4Ks, no Steelbooks, just Blu-ray. So I still have room at the bottom. So that'll be all of my new overstock that I accumulate throughout this year. We'll be down there. One thing that I did is that I did have all my Kinos down there, but I moved my Kinos um, over here because that, that'll probably go on my new shelf uh, when I put that up. A lot of my boutique labels I'm going to put on the new shelf when I get that up. Uh, didn't do anything with this shelf. That's my boutique shelf. I'm going to take all those out. Like I said, I'm going to remove that whole, both of those smaller shelves I'm going to remove, put over there on that wall and put it, hopefully the new shelf that I'm going to build fits in that slot right there. Um, and then I got to, you know, my 4Ks and stuff. I did move a lot of stuff out of here in the middle, some stuff at the bottom as well. Uh, just some of my overseas titles and stuff, some some of my non-region free Blu-rays and DVDs and stuff that I've accumulated over the past year through subscriber unboxings and just very generous people that have sent me stuff. I moved all that out. I'm going to have like a special overseas, um, you know, non-domestic section. But yeah, and I got all my boutique stuff on the floor. I've kind of organized everything that I had laying on the floor into, you know, 4K steelbooks um, and whatever boutique label that they fall in. So um, and like I said, my A24s are slow here. Let's go through all this, guys, because this is the stuff that I'm going to be putting up for sale. Uh, so I'll just kind of go through everything real quick. Like I said, I had to make some tough choices. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at parting with stuff because I'm like, do I want to get rid of this? Do I want to get rid of Halloween 2 and, and Halloween 3, the Blu-rays, just the regular Blu-rays? They're not even boutique, but I'm like, they have different covers. I was like, do I want to keep those in my collection? Do I want to get rid of the Indiana Jones uh, movies on Blu-ray, even though I have the 4Ks, because these have different covers. I don't know. I just, I'm just real. It's really hard for me to part with stuff. Do I want to get rid of Who Framed, Who Framed Roger Rabbit on Blu-ray? Basically, how I decided, um, if the 4K had a Blu-ray in it, because I always want the option to be able to watch on Blu-ray. Because again, I don't have a 4K player in every room. There might be a time when I want to watch a Blu-ray in the office or something, and I just have my Blu-ray player. Uh, so I want that option um, to play the Blu-ray. So if it had a Blu-ray in the 4K, 
I, I, I took the Blu-ray off the shelf and I'm going to sell it. And I, I really tried to not, you know, think about the different covers and all that stuff and just having, you know, the different editions and, and all that. I'm even getting rid of my uh, American Werewolf in London Blu-ray box set, which that was, I, again, kind of a hard decision for me because the American Werewolf in London 4K does not have a Blu-ray. So I kind of wanted to keep it just for that. But I was like, I can't just, I want to get rid of the case. I don't want two arrow cases on the shelf. But I'm like, I'm not just going to keep the case with no Blu-ray in it, even though somebody might buy that. I'm not sure. I don't know. Some of these I may put back. Um, and, you know, we got some that just got upgraded to 4K, like Carrie and Cloverfield that I just got a 4K Steelbook for. The Paranormal Activity, you know, six movie collection, that was a no-brainer. Give that away. I got that big, beautiful box set now. The Lost Boys just got that on 4K. There was some stuff that I got rid of. I uh, like the Hobbit movies because I'll eventually get those in 4K. I'll get that 4K set. Um, but yeah, this is this is everything, guys. I'll just kind of zoom up and down. And I'll probably be posting this on my Instagram. I, I don't know how I'm going to sell all this stuff. I may just say, hey, do you all want... Whoever wants all this, you know, give me your best offer or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll sell it all for... I don't know. I'll, I'll go through it and I'll figure out like what I think that some of this stuff is worth. But yeah, if, if the, any of these titles, you know, look, look good to you. If you want them in your collection, you know, hit me up on Instagram. I'll definitely be posting on there soon after this video drops. So, all right, but that's, uh, that's the update guys. That's the updates and I'll, I'll update you again shortly. All right. So I'm actually picking this up quite a few weeks after I had my last update, so I don't know what all I've said before of what I've done, uh, but from what I can remember, I've got all my uh, Blu-rays down there still that I that I took out of the the regular Blu-ray collection, all the stuff that I've upgraded, um, and I have alphabetized or re-alphabetized all of my regular Blu-ray releases, um, you know, from a. Uh, you know, loose alphabetical. I didn't, you know, go crazy with it and put everything and like super like alphabetize everything. Uh, but all the A's are together. All the B's are together. All the C's are together. You know, you guys, you guys get the gist. Um, and I still got the A24s on the bottom. For some reason, guys, I just, I want all my A24s together. So they're still, you know, on the bottom. But I did uh, build my new shelf and I put it in place of these two shelves, which used to be in this spot, just to make it more uniform across the board, like this whole wall right here, um, you know, it is the same size shelves or relatively the same size. It gets on my nerves so much because I feel like I'm ordering the same Atlantic media shelf, but they're like all different sizes <laughs> every single time. Um, I do think that this one right here and this one right here, which I just got are the same one. I think that these are the exact same one, but this is my first one that I ever got of this size. It's different. And then the one that I ordered last year is different as well. Um, so yeah, that that's kind of irritating. I don't know, like, I feel like I'm ordering the same one, but they're always different. So, <laughs> but anyway, the one I just got, uh, very easy to put together. So I'll uh, leave a link for that. I always have people ask me like, what shelves do I have all the time? I'll, I'm going to link it down below. So if you guys want this shelf right here that I got, this exact shelf is the one that I'm going to link down below. All right. So, and another thing that happens, I ripped off, I had to rip off some of my LED lights that I had all over the shelves and stuff. And I really wish I didn't do that now because when I ripped them off, I ripped part of the actual shelf off. So that sucks, <laughs> but yeah, I, I ripped those off, so now I don't have them in the center anymore. I've got them running all across the top, and then I've got another row of lights right there that I didn't ever use um, that I'm going to try to fill in some some spaces with, maybe like run it through the center and then run it, you know, through the, the, uh, the lower parts. All right, guys, here we go. I'm pretty much at a stopping point here, so this is probably going to be the last segment of this video, but... Let me give you a brief overview and then I'll, I'll show you what I did um, with everything. But before we get into the boutique stuff, uh, which I have this center, the, the most important thing is I have everything off the floor, uh, at least movie wise. I still got crap over there, junk over there. But before I get into the boutique stuff, let me show you all because uh, I didn't do this uh, last time. But I basically, you know, integrated all of the other 4Ks that I've been getting over the past year, alphabetized those in the 4k collection. So all of my 4ks, all of my new 4ks, everything 
is alphabetized. I still got these down here, these target exclusives. I, I'm thinking maybe I should integrate those into the 4Ks. I mean, I probably should. I honestly don't know why I didn't. So I'll probably move those in there at some point. But right now they're by themselves. I also alphabetized my steelbooks, which is something that I did not do uh, last year because I wanted to keep all the lion's gates together, but I just went ahead and alphabetized all my steel books. So I've got very, I got everything together. Um, and yeah, there's some lion's gates that are, that are apart from their brothers and sisters. So just something I had to do. Let's go ahead and show you what I did. I always get out of breath when I do these guys. <laughs> Let me show you what I did here. So I went ahead and put my criterions on top of this shelf, fit all my criterions in here. And what I did with the criterions is I put them in order and spine order. So I went ahead and put these in. I don't look, I don't anticipate that I'm going to get every single criterion, but I went ahead and put these in spine order. That just made sense to me since the number is such a big part of the criterion collection. So that's my criterion collection. So I, I, I have at least, I would say I have like 70 criterion titles at this point. And then next up, I got my Kino Lorber. So I got all my Blu-rays with the slip covers right here. And then I got all my 4Ks with the slip covers right there which I do, most of the 4Ks I have do have slip covers. And then I go into all my slipless stuff here um, on the bottom. And I still got a few 4Ks right there without, uh, without slip covers. Now these I just put in any order because they don't have spine numbers. And yeah, I could have alphabetized them, but I just didn't bother. And then I got my screen factories. I started with my, my Halloween 4Ks and these are all the 4Ks right there. Um, and then we got more 4Ks. And then we go into some Blu-rays, and then we got all the box sets, the Rec Collection, Critters, Friday the 13th, and Omen, Fly, and all that stuff. And then more Blu-rays with slipcovers. And then down here, I got more, no real rhyme or reason to this, but I got more Screen Factories, slipcovers, non-slipcovers. And then we go into some Shout stuff. I did separate the Shouts, but I didn't put these in numbered order. I just kind of threw them in there, because again, I don't anticipate I'm going to collect all the Shout numbered line. Um, and then we got the MVD stuff. I would like to get all these at some point because there's not a ton. Uh, but I do have these in order of numbers. So I should probably put the shout stuff in order since I have everything else. It's kind of dumb that I don't. Um, and then down here I got uh, Blue Underground. You know, a lot of the 4Ks and a lot of the Blu-rays. And then I got a little Severin. I've only got five Severin titles. I probably have less amount of those. Uh, of the big boutique labels, I probably have the least amount of Severin than I do everything else. And then we got a pretty healthy amount of Synops releases. Got some Unearth Films, MVD, Visual, just some random stuff. I got some Full Moon stuff. I got some 88 film stuff. And then you go down here and you got my Vestron titles. Um, and I did put these in numbered order. And some other random stuff. You got that Cynodyme line right there, the screen box stuff. And got some Code Reds. And then we got my Paramount Presents line. I put all these in numbered order. Which I have most of the Paramount Presents. I'm only missing 20 and 21, and I think I'm missing 32. So I definitely need to fill on those gaps pretty soon. And then on the bottom, I got Warner Archive. Got Warner Archive on the bottom. So that's it, guys. I just kind of made this a, a boutique shelf, and I didn't want to you know, move all my 4Ks over. I just figured I'd just use this for the boutiques, and all my Blu-rays are still over here. I did change up the top of the shelf a little bit. Got some pops over there in the corner. Got some of my NECAs, some random stuff. This is the Witch uh, screenplay book from A24. I got that years ago when that came out. Escape from New York, Screen Factory. Got my guest print up there, Empire Strikes Back poster, and all those little film vault editions up here. I put my Columbia Classics editions on top of my 4K shelf. So you got Volume 1, Volume 2. Volume 3, if they come out with a Volume 4, I'll stack that on top. And then over here, I still got my Friday the 13th poster on the ground. I'm going to try to hang that up right there in that bare wall space. And I made myself a little, another little boutique shelf over here, a little shelving system. I got some space at the bottom if I want to, you know, expand. And I'm sure I'm going to be buying Arrow Video seems to be the one that I get for the most. And to be honest, it's because I have a partnership with them and I get all of the Aero video releases every month. So that's just going to accumulate a lot faster than the other one. So I'm going to leave that open space on the bottom for the arrows that I'm going to fill in. And then this shelf is basically going to be vinegar syndrome, second sight, and you know, 
that'll probably be primarily what it's for. I look to, you know, collect a lot more vinegar syndrome in 2023. So I'm sure this is going to fill up before we get to the end of the year. But I just left those bottom spaces open for that. But on top, I got, you know, just some cool box sets that I wanted to throw on top over here. You got the Resident Evil and Underworld and Paranormal Activity box set. You got my old school. I'm keeping this damn DVD set till they give us a good one, damn it. But this is the last great Nightmare on Elm Street box set. So I'm keeping it till they till they give us a good Blu-ray or 4K box set. A couple of my cool Steelbook editions of the... The Monsters, Godzilla, King Kong sets, and then the Rambo, which I freaking love this set so much. That Steelbook set. Uh, the Stranger Things, uh, VHS, Blu-ray editions. You got the Sony, 30 Years, Pictures Classic. You got Inglorious Bastards, this cool edition right here, which has two Steelbooks in it. And then I got my old um, Rambo and, and Rocky prints that uh, Dude Who Loves Movies sent me, which I just freaking love this artwork piece right there. So I just had to put that in the center. And then, like I said, just all my all my arrow stuff, no particular order. I tried to put all my, you know, big box sets and stuff up top, and then my limited editions, and then the slip covers, and then the ones without slip covers. And then I got the Shaw Scope edition down there. Now I don't know what to do with that damn Puppet Master trunk set. I really, I really don't know what to do with that because it doesn't fit on top of any of the shelves either. because uh, it's just too big and I don't want it falling down. Um, but yeah, got all my vinegar syndromes here on these shelves, second site. And, um, you know, I want to collect more of the partner labels for sure. So I got my first partner label, that golden era edition right there. And yeah, guys, that's, that's pretty much it. I do want to, I am going to be changing th some things up. I am looking to, uh, take this desk where I, where I film everything. I got my lights and all that crap, guys. You gotta get to, get to see all my mess right here right now, but I do want to take this desk and move it over here. And I want to, I want this to be kind of like my filming background. So definitely look for that, uh, within the next few days, probably. So there's going to be a lot of changes, a lot of, uh, adjustments. I'm going to try to look into a pr improving my lighting and, and all that good stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Again, I'll, I'll make an update whenever I change anything else, but, uh, everything else, I, I might make some minor changes, but that's pretty much the the big, uh, the big change and the, the big reorganization of, of this year of, of 2023. We'll see you again in 2024 where I'm sure everything's going to become a complete mess. Well, I will say real quick, the reason I want to move this over here is I kind of, I just envision, well, this wall is already full, right? That wall's already full. So I envision this being like the center of the room. And I imagine I'll have some other shelves. That's all my shirts, guys, over there, by the way. Um, just a complete mess in here, I'll be honest. Um, this is like the center of the room. And then this wall, I envision having shelves on it at some point. So we'll just have shelves on both walls and then this wall. And I'll be in the center of the room. And that'll this will be my filming spot. And I'll just be surrounded by what I love the most, guys, physical media. So... All right, I appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope it wasn't too long, but it probably was. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'll see you guys later.